What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Chief Rocky here, and welcome back to another episode of Valheim. And I think in this episode, we really need to isolate this base. I don't know when the next uh, little attack is going to come, <laughs> but I don't want to wait till the last minute and not have anything to protect us. So I think the goal is to maybe have, um, I don't know, a fence come out this way. I was thinking of digging a trench. But I think a trench at this point would just be kind of like a little too much, right? Um, I, I kind of want to see like where we're going to go with some of the stuff. Um, I definitely want to keep some of these areas. I'm thinking like, um, for example, here, I might make this like the kiln area. Um, I'm probably going to put another like beehive here and consider this like food. Same thing over here. Man, I'm all out of stamina. Let's eat another blueberry then. How about we do that? There you go. There you go, chafe. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Anyways. <laughs> we'll get another beehive here. Uh, probably another beehive here. I want to keep the beehives separated in these little food areas. Another beehive here. So I'll probably move this one here. I will keep this here as this is basically like, you know, just regular workbench area. And then here, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do with this. But I know we got plenty of logs to do whatever the hell we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm approaching a lot of uh, stone rocks here as well, um, but I want to leave a lot of this. I don't want to touch this until Cedar gets back on. Uh, he's been quite busy. That guy works a lot, and uh, I have a lot of admiration for him. That, that dude is a hardworking man, uh, but I'm going to leave this for him and just assist him with whatever he needs in doing this. Uh, but we are going to at least build this area out and whatnot. Oh, 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 oh. I'll let the fall in between those logs. That would have been dramatically bad. <laughs> Plus, hey, I noticed that I've been misspelling copper as Cooper. So don't hate me. <laughs> you know what's funny? I didn't even notice it. And I, I do have a little bit of dyslexia. So don't, don't, you know, it is what it is. You can make fun of me. I'm a sailor, so it doesn't bother me none. Right. But my, my eight year old son pointed out like, hey, daddy. Why does it say Cooper and troll? Yeah, they got <laughs> it's pretty bad when your eight year old son gets you and is like, I'm sorry, son. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fix it. I'm just letting you guys know. It's staying. So for now on when you see Cooper, just let let you know I'm mining Cooper. Cooper's getting mined. He's gonna hate it. <laughs> it is what it is, it's staying that way. So I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I think I need to build some more chests, right? We got we got a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff so I'm gonna build more chests here 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 and uh, I need to get a lot more room for the amount of copper and tin I'm going to be mining so I'm gonna mine a whole bunch of that stuff just so as soon as we put up the smelters again I'm planning on literally building a whole new workbench area here totally enclosed and it is going to be the smelting and kiln area I'm gonna go and get some of that copper some of that sweet sweet copper and tin but first I'm gonna build some of the storage here to maintain it and then uh, yeah we'll be back as soon as we get that and we're gonna start building this area here and then totally enclose this in this is gonna be
Holy crap. Hugin came back. Let's talk to him. You have built a smelter. Deposit your raw ore into this furnace and it will melt away impurities, leaving you with a bar of refined metal to work at the forge. You will need coal to fuel the smelter. This can be produced by building a kiln and loading it with wood. Well, thank you, Hugin. Man, I haven't seen that bird in a while. There we go. There's my burnt chicken. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I have to read... I think uh, at least this door is fine but I think I think I want to move this door over here or hmm hmm I think both these doors need to move to be honest with you so I'm gonna move these doors real quick and uh, yeah I think uh, what we're gonna do is load this up and I'm going to then start building a fence perimeter around this entire base and put some guard towers up so I'm thinking like one here one there one over there and one there like four of them um, I could use this little smelting coal area as one and then same I could use that as one as well and just any bad guys that come we could just repel them from there but um, yeah, I really need to protect this I'm getting attacked uh, quite frequently here now and uh, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I want to have a way to, to uh, protect it, you know what I mean? All right, guys. Alright, so this is fixed. Um, I, I kind of put this here because I think it would look kind of cool to see like the ashes kind of build up here. I don't know if that's a thing, but um, I don't know. This thing is ugly, by the way. It is absolutely hideous, but you know, we'll build something better in the future. I just need this to work right now. So we have this right here. Can I click on it? You are sheltered. You are exposed. Oh, there we go. Nice. Alright, so that's obviously going to build up smoke, which I built plenty of areas for the smoke to dissipate out so it's perfect and it looks like i'm probably going to be getting uh i don't know i don't know where i'm going to get it from where does it come out at that that's what i want to know so this how do i interact with this is this is this oh okay oh the coal gets on the deck here okay so then i add the coal here and i think i add the ore here okay okay i did build it right then nice and what, go, what goes here? Or is that just the fire? That's that's just the fire. Okay. All right. Okay. You know what? I did the, I did something right, guys. <laughs> All right. Look at look at that. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna load this up real quick, and then while this is smelting ore, while this is making charcoal, I'm gonna go and start building this vent again. Um, I can't go too far to the water, um, but I think I'm gonna start right about here and move my way up in a straight line as as, as best as I can all the way up this. And just create a perimeter. I might have to take these trees out of the way. That's fine. I might need the wood. But I, I'm, I don't want to be on a down slope. Right? I want to be on the up slope. Uh, so I could see down. And, you know, the enemy has to actually make his way up a hill. That's better than going down a hill. Y you know what I mean? So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started on that. And while we're doing that, make the charcoal and all the ores and everything. Because I'm hoping to get a bronze axe. <laughs> That's what I really want. Alright, guys. All right, so I'm lugging this copper over here. <laughs> I got a full stack. I made all the charcoal I could, and it is in the smelter. Let's go ahead and add all 10 of this. 
and it should start producing some uh it, it should start producing some ore is it is it not on i'm very confused i'm pretty sure that this is covering the entire area here can i look around hmm actually i can do this this will tell me All right so if i look at this actually if i go here building yeah Yeah, it's it's in the area. Hmm. I wonder what I'm doing wrong here. What's going on? What am I? What's going on? Oh. Maybe I had to hit that little circle. It's doing something, but it's very slow at doing whatever it is it's doing. Um. So we'll keep uh we'll keep building that fence and come back to that. I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to do at this moment. It's time to check on this stuff here. And what do we got? Ooh, look at that. New copper. What, what was the other one? Forge. What? Oh, is, is there a log? Can I see a log? Oh, this just tells me my skills. Is there? Is there a log? Friendly fire enabled. No, 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 no. Ugh. Oh, well. I got some new stuff for this copper, though. Is it still making copper? Okay, it is still making copper at a very slow pace, but it is still making copper. So we'll come up and check on this later while I'm still building this, uh, this wonderful wall. Build the wall. <laughs> All right, guys.
All right, Game Awards, so we are done fortifying or basically enclosing our little area here. Oh, man. And I think I did a good job, right? I, I, I'm obviously not going to say it's beautiful, but um, I think for the age that we're in, like pre-bronze age, because I'm just now crafting bronze stuff, which I had the actual smelter and the kill just going nonstop while I'm building all this. Um, and it's been a couple days. I, I want to say like three or four days of just after work coming in for two to three hours a night and just grinding away, getting all the wood I can and still maintaining some of the wood supplies for Seether for the big project we got, which I'll talk more about here in a minute. You can tell, man, we got the central main gate. There's some gates over there, but everything is covered by some towers as you can see here and we have these fences guarding this stake wall um and this is mostly just to because these are flimsy but it's just to have another barrier a cheap very inexpensive barrier to kind of lead the enemies here first which gives us enough time to fight them back right and also if we needed to have like ground to ground combat we could come in here and hit them and fall back and then hit them and then fall back and still have a barrier right um and the gates obviously are to have them funnel into a certain location so that we can come up here and snipe them off at certain key locations. So this overlooks the wall and perfect, full of lighting and whatnot. And I also cut back most of the trees that I could, right? Um, I don't have a bronze axe yet, so <laughs> I'll be cutting it back a little bit more. But cutting back the trees as much as possible so that there's nowhere that the enemy can hide as they're trying to lay siege to our beloved enclave or whatever this is going to be called, right? So yeah, we... I did the best I could with what I had, right? Anyways, uh, we still have some of the supplies over here that I have been keeping for Seether. And this is going to be the new residence slash uh, storage slash pier. And I'm really looking forward to getting this thing up and running. Uh, we have plenty still to do, right? There's plenty of enemy spawners. There's plenty of other dungeons that we haven't even gotten to yet, which uh, I might not record the dungeons because we already did that. That'd be kind of pointless to do again. <laughs> Uh, troll caves. There's a troll cave up here. There's still plenty for us to do and explore and we still have to build a boat and get to the elder as well as actually start building up the crafting area to have the bronze age stuff so we can start making some stuff. I need a bronze axe for sure. I need some of the bronze armor. Oh man, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Honestly, honestly cannot wait. All right. Like I said, this kiln's been going. Just picked up some copper. How much we got left okay so i can add some more can i go ah missed <laughs> anyways i hope you guys liked the montage the building montage or the time lapse and then also the little fly through the little cinematic fly through and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed that's all i got i'll see you in the next one chief rocky out